All right, hi everybody, it's Bonkai922, here to bring you a review, anime episode review. Now, I know a lot of people were saying, well, some people were saying, Vaughn, but don't worry, man, episode two, review for episode two of The Severing Crime now, last week's episode was very... The first episode was very slow. I mean, truth be told, it didn't really pick up as much. Because, I mean, it's just the introduction of characters. Oh, you know, oh. He wanted to cut her hair, you know? So it wasn't really that impactful. However, this week's episode, oh shit, did it get serious real quick. Now, this one was called, um, The P Portrait of, uh, Portrait of the Heretic. Now, next week, it's gonna get really crazy. Like, from here on out, it's gonna get really intense for this anime series. Now, Portrait of a Heretic, pretty much in this episode, she goes to school. Um, what's her name? Forgot her name, ah! I forgot her name. Um, she goes to school, uh, Iwa. Goes to school, Iwa goes with Kir Kiri, you know, the hair queen. And this crazy bitch, <laughs> this crazy fucking sister, is, is she's out of her fucking mind. She she needs she needs counseling. She needs to like go, go somewhere else because she's fucking cuckoo. And for good reason, she's cuckoo. By the way, what ends on happening is, you know, Ki Kiri, he takes Iwa, her, the, the, the hair queen, to um, school. He actually cut her hair. So that's the whole bit there. And while on the bus, they bump into one of the big, I think her last name is Bruin Saki? Yamane. Yamane is, um... One of the two sisters that they meet, that he meets, Kiri, in the mansion that uh, Iwa lives. And she's sitting on the bus and she's like, oh, you cut her hair and everything. And she's fucking psycho. Her eyes are like bugging out, man. Like, what is your deal, bitch? And she basically has a killing goods like Kiri. Hers is a syringe thing. And she says, I have to call, I have to call nature. Oh, I'm a crazy bitch. Yeah, she is. She's a crazy bitch. She needs her medication. Like, what the fuck? You know, she went completely psycho. But pretty much what ends up happening is um, she, I'm trying to figure this out. Figure this out. I'm trying to figure it out. I can't figure it out. Um, they go to school pretty much, and then you know they're at school, and everyone's they're introducing her. You know, it's kind of fun and everything, and, and it sounds so slow. But later on in the day, it gets crazy. So, and that's basically what happened there. They introduce her, and then later on in the day, they're walking, and. Yamane is talking to her sister, says, What should I do, May Chan? I'm like, Bitch, go to the pharmacy and ask for like some really, really good drugs because that's what you need. Because you need your medication because you're fucking crazy. Um, also, we find out in this episode that people who have the killing goods, who use them, they need a way to suppress that killing desire. And that's basically what happened with Yamane. Um, she psycho because the, the good, the killing good itself, makes her want to kill people. See, I told you, people. I told you. I told you. This show's more than BCI. And here it is. So yeah, that's pretty much what happens. So in order to do that, she has to, you know, find a way to relieve that. 
thing. Um, and what's on happening is there's a confrontation between Iwa and Amane, because Yamane's on the, the stairs, and she was told but, well, what, what, what to do from her sister. And we get introduced to another character here, which we saw on the, the previous episode, the professor. A ka Kane Sumeragi. Sumer Sumeragi. He um is a professor. And he's also making a few sly comments saying, Oh yeah, you should just let her kill her. Cause you know, that whole bit. Um and apparently she gave the the told her sister, yeah, you could do it. Like, Jesus man, she's gonna kill somebody. Um, and when it's done happening, a fight breaks out between, um, what's his face? Kiri and Yamane. And it was so crazy because I read this in the manga and it was pretty gory with what transpires. So I thought, oh man, they're not going to show this. I mean, it's, but sure enough, they did. So what ends up happening is... He pushes her out of the way. He pushes Iwa out of the way. And is able to get his scissors on Yamane's hand. And, and no blood. And he just cuts her. And all the blood's gushing out. I'm like, damn! Yeah. See? Hey, just because episode one was, was slow doesn't mean you people need to say, it sucks. You know what? It doesn't. The same. Recognize. Recognize. Anyway, he cuts her, but, and is able to dodge her attacks and whatnot. You know, it's pretty crazy. But, you know, they're, well, they're, they're attacking each other with their goods. It's like these, these, these booms happen, you know, when they're doing it. But she's able to get, a sh inject him with this stuff. And she's like, the loose like, crack. <laughs> she needs some medication. She needs some crack. <laughs> your body. She needs some crack. Like, big time. Because she's psycho. And then we see a flashback also of when she killed her parents. I'm like, bitch, get the straitjacket. Send her to the crazy farm. Because she's a few Fruit Loops short of a balanced breakfast. But anyway, what ends up happening there is um, her other sister shows up. They get them take them away, um, the professor's there, and he wakes them up, and he basically, it's explaining, and, you know, I don't like the, these sisters, get the fuck out, like, seriously, and the whole premise was, everyone who has a cursed killing good, ends up trying to kill Iwa, because whoever kills her, that curse will be lifted. You know. So, that was the whole bit. And the professor... And, and, and they were telling her, you're you going to get killed. You should just die. All these mean things. And the professor says, no. No. And he's being very sly. This is a game. And... And... Re, uh, and um, um Kiri was basically pissed off about that, that he said this was a game and whatnot. And then he tells him, no, 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 about it. And says, oh, you, you're that person we were looking for. So in other words, Kiri's job now is to protect the queen. Is to protect Iwa from all these other people that are going to come after them now. So, and also, like I said, also in this episode, we saw the opening. Opening was pretty good. I enjoyed the opening. Boss. Pretty boss. A pretty good song there. Pretty good theme going on. So yeah, it's a pretty good opening too. And the, the last scene shown in this episode was the cutting of her hair. He was cutting her hair because it regrows the next morning. Like, damn, that's some crazy hair. So his premise is that he's going to be protecting Iwa from these other... And they call them authors... Which I find very odd. You call them authors. People who have a killing good is called an author. I found that very strange. 
And he's basically going to be a protector. Now, after that scene with him cutting her hair, at the end of the episode, we see this guy who broke out of prison with this fucking huge hammer. I'm like, fuck. And I remember this guy from the manga. So he's going to be the next guy. That, he's going to be the guy that's going to come after her. And he's going to have to protect her. And kill this guy. Which is pretty much. Um, but yeah, and that's pretty much what happened in the episode. Overall, I like this a whole lot better than last week. Give this a 4 out of 5. No questions asked. Uh, it's going to get better from here. If anything tells me from the opening... There's gonna be a good amount of people coming after this. This coming after Iwa. Hopefully, I say her name right there. Um, and or killing, trying to kill her. Cause and, and I forgot to mention also, the the logistics of it is that there were two curses placed. Cursed one was that all the goods were cursed. Killing goods were cursed, and and and, and basically anyone who has a killing good who's an author, is cursed to just try to kill people, more people, more people. It's like an urge. And the other curse that was placed upon is that all her ancestors, all the people of ancestors of this woman were going to have hair that could not be cut. Females of the other ancestors. So, yeah. And that's the logistics of it. Those were two curses. And basically, you know, we... I'm saying trying to find his name. Kiri's job is to protect her. Check the queen. Hail the queen, you know. Um, and that's the logistics of it. So yeah, this was good. I mean, I think I think for this series, what they should have done probably was try to find a way to have episode one include both. But sometimes it just doesn't work that way. So, yeah. And that's all I got for you guys. So, yeah. It doesn't work that way. So, anyway, that's all I got for you guys. It's from Bonkai 922. Go check out Crime Edge. It's going to get good. I told you guys. I told you. Oh, episode one wasn't good. Stick with it. Stick with it. It's getting good. Let me get some blood shit. Yeah. I like me some blood. <laughs> but, yeah, this is going to be good. So, and next week, he, it seems like Kiri is going to fight this guy with a hammer. Cloud, um, Thundercloud or something. So, I guess they meant to call it Thundercloud because he's got a hammer. Thor. You know, that that kind of analogy there. So, yeah. And that's all I got for you guys. So, yeah. This has been Bob Cotton Eyes for Two. I'll see you guys later. This show is more than just cutting hair. Killers need to kill. <laughs> See ya.